Hi, this is Corey Rogers, Vice President of Marketing for National Equipment Dealers. Today we're on site at our Dallas location and we want to do a short demonstration on how to use Hyundai's brand new quick coupler connect and disconnect procedure. I'm here with Brad Burris, our VP here in Dallas, and Brad's going to demonstrate how this new procedure works. Hyundai, uh, over the last year, has made a few additional safety improvements, and this is one of those safety improvements designed to prohibit the ability to drop the bucket accidentally. So we'll talk about this procedure and how it works and show you exactly what to do when you get a brand new Hyundai with a quick coupler. So as you can see, we have a Rocklin bucket on this, and we have the new Hyundai quick coupler. You can kind of see the quick coupler and you see the red cam lock that will indicate that we have the coupler locked on the bucket. So I'm standing here on the tracks right next to Brad Burris. Uh, Brad's going to show us exactly how this procedure works. So first things first, Brad is going to engage his hydraulic functions and then right over to the right of him you'll notice a rocker switch. You'll need to pull that red lock in order to allow us to disengage the quick coupler feature. And then now with the right side, you'll see here on the screen, gives you some instructions indicating the quick coupler setting and we're ready to uh, unlock the quick coupler. And then over here, you'll have the joystick and there's a button that Brad's gonna depress, which is the bottom left-hand button right below the proportional control. And in order for him to disengage the cam lock, he needs to completely curl the bucket until it stalls out while holding that button. The cam lock is then going to release. Then he can extend the bucket back towards the ground and start to dump the bucket circuit so that he can release the quick coupler from the bucket. So he still has the button depressed. He's using a combination of his arm in and out, his boom up and down, and utilizing the bucket function on the right hand joystick. And you can see the quick coupler has disconnected from the bucket. Now in order to reconnect the bucket to the quick coupler, he's going to have to do the reverse. So there's a few different ways to do this. You can keep the button held in and then go over and attach to the other attachment that you want to pick up and then allow the cam to lock on the pin as you curl it so that it locks on the front and the back pin. Or you can release it, move the machine to where the other attachment is, and then you'll just have to turn off the quick coupler rocker switch and then re-engage it. And then that will allow you to then attach to a new bucket. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to us. You can contact us through our website at nedealers.com.